All right. So I just need to graph this problem. And we don't need to put this one in standard form because it's in mx plus b form. So we can just simply graph it by knowing what the slope is and what the intercept is. Ladies and gentlemen, if you ever come into an impasse or somewhere you're stopped and you're like, oh, I don't know how to graph this, the best advice I can always give you is create a table. Remember when you first learned how to graph? X, Y, and you do a little table of your X coordinates and then you find the Y? Everybody should be able to graph this just by using the table alone. Okay, so if you get stuck, always refer back to a table. And that's gonna be true for all the, you know, all different graphing needs. However, for this one, if I want to put it into y equals mx plus b form, where m is my slope and b is my y-intercept, I can write this simply as negative 2x plus 0. All right? So therefore, the y-intercept is at 0. That means it crosses at 0. Then, yes? Wouldn't that also make the x-intercept 0? Now that now makes the x and the y-intercept 0. Yes, so you're right. So now my x and my y, look, because it's at the origin, right? So the x and the y-intercepts are at 0. Now remember my slope is negative 2 or negative 2 over 1. So what that tells me I can do is I can go down 2 to the right 1. Down 2, so down, down 2 to the right, down 2 to the right 1, down 2 to the right 1 again. You could also go up 2 to the left one, up two to the left one, and just follow that pattern. Make sure you put your lines on there. You're going to say your x and y intercept. The slope is negative two. Okay. 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 Okay.